Some of the navigation techniques that you'll use in Ableton Live are a little different from those you'd find in other digital audio workstation programs. In this movie, we're going to take a look at zooming in and out and navigating around in the live interface. I've got an audio clip on this audio track, and I'm going to double click it to view the clip overview. Now, as I move my mouse over the sample display, I can click and drag down to zoom in, left and right. To, to choose a specific location or up to zoom out. Now you'll notice that that's only on the top half of the sample display. On the bottom half, the uh, mouse icon turns into a little speaker and I can use that to start playback. And I can start playback at any point within the loop. I can also zoom in and out down here using the, what's called the clip overview. And as I move my mouse to the edge, it turns into what's called the left zooming edge. And I can zoom in from the left or from the right. I can click and drag to the left and right. And again, I can drag up or down to zoom in and out. The same kind of zooming functionality also works. Let me put a loop in here so you can see. The same kind of functionality also works in the overview here. And I can zoom in and out by clicking and dragging down, up to zoom out. I can use the left zooming edge and the right zooming edge to zoom in. And if you've done a lot of work in other digital audio workstation programs, this might take a little getting used to, but once you've got it down, it's actually fairly intuitive. Moving on to MIDI clips, I have the same kind of functionality. I can click and drag up, only in this case I want to do it at the top here of the note editor. Click and drag left and right. And I can also click and drag up and down here to view different note ranges, or left and right, right to zoom out, left to zoom in. So those are some navigation techniques that you'll use throughout the process of working with your Ableton Live sets.